So ADCC is a, is a big one. And um, man, we get a lot of questions in here about kind of about like the leg lock game and stuff like that, because, you know, you're known for being uh, a technician in jiu-jitsu, right? Thank you're you. a technical innovator, Thank let's you. say it. I mean, that's, that's kind of one of the labels that I think is... is put, yeah, is, 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 so myself. And also any, anytime anybody thinks of Keenan, <laughs> they think of the various <laughs> tricks that you come up with, the various, uh, you know, new things that you're unveiling in competition and, and you know, your kind of work in, in, in teaching jiu-jitsu in the seminars and stuff. Yep. But we were talking about this a little bit earlier, is that no gi it's it's kind of really diverging from the kind of the gi game nowadays, yeah. right? Now, how do you see that happening? Because it feels like the no gi game is, is exploding, right? Really, a lot a lot of people doing it. A lot of people it's getting imploding. Different... Imploding, yeah. Really, there's significant. Can we all just agree that there's significantly less techniques in no gi than in the gi? Significantly less. Yes. I would agree. Yeah, there's yes. less options for there sure. are less yeah. things you can do. It's not less technical, but there are less techniques. It is less technical. Oh. A hundred percent. Nogi is a much more athletic game. Mm -hmm. Well, that is this, true. Is, this is coming from someone. I have more accolades Nogi than I do Gi. Mm. If you look at my stats. Let's pull them up. Let's look pull them up. Look at the stats. No, no <laughs> numbers, world numbers don't lie. I'm a Nogi world champion, and I'm like two-time two silver, silver ADCC mm -hmm. and two-time bronze ADCC. So I've been in it for a yeah. while. So I know the game. And I'm not saying this from a biased perspective. I do enjoy Nogi, or I did enjoy Nogi. Not anymore. <laughs> not as much anymore. I'm not a huge fan of nogi. But well, there, there is less to do in nogi because there are no grips. This is the fact that you cannot make a grip on the gi. Mm -hmm. And like, there's so many chokes that are just gone. How many chokes are there with the gi in jiu-jitsu? Yeah. yeah, true. They're you could argue it. there's probably a thousand. Like if you really were to try and find every single one. Mm. Variations yeah. included. So just there, that's a thousand less techniques. Point made. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. But then you say the nogi is imploding. Oh, it's, so and it's you don't like it anymore. It's imploding so what's happening? in the sense that it's becoming like all these people who trained jujitsu in the gi and nogi, they were sort of training nogi how they would train gi, which is like the classic I pass your guard, you play guard and try and sweep me, and then try and pass my guard. It's changed to where the guard pass and guard play aspect has kind of been removed by the by leg locks. So now it's the goal is leg lock. So it's like be on top. If you're on bottom, leg lock. If you're on top, avoid leg lock and disengage and then maybe try and pass, but there's just not a lot of there's not as much passing happening in competition. I think at the lower levels, yes, but I'm I'm like speaking from like the black belt competitive the level. Yeah. Like yeah, sure. The meta game is different at each level. Like mm -hmm. purple and blue belt you can get away with a lot of stuff that doesn't work at black belt. But at black belt, you don't really see a lot of guard passes anymore from the high level guys whereas in in the gi ibjf competitions you, you see the full gambit of positions from yep. guard play people get passed people get their backs taken people get choked arm barred leg locked everything's there but in the in no gi it seems like it's kind of imploding that's why i say imploding the game is what was out here it's becoming more dense and smaller around leg locks and takedowns mm. and leg locks and wrestling we have a yeah. comment here basically right. so it's catch wrestling <laughs> it, yeah, it's become submission, and it was always it was ADCC has always been like this. Right. But the IBJF rules from um, transferring into Nogi sort of encouraged a more passing guard playing style, which I really liked because I I like playing guard. But as people as the overall level and understanding of passing and being on top progresses, it's the the inherent advantage of being on top is becoming more prevalent. So being on top of someone, you have gravity on your side, and that's a huge huge advantage. And people are getting much better at taking it advantage of that advantage mm -hmm. so people who like to play guard guard is actually becoming less effective in nogi and to the point where you can't really play an effective guard in the sense of sweeping someone and getting on top with it the guards that are effective now are guards that set up leg locks mm -hmm. or set up takedowns so like 90 percent of transitions you see in nogi are a leg lock position to sweep or a sweep attempt into like a single leg or double leg something mm -hmm. like that and you see a lot of people uh basically ignoring the guard pass to go to the back as well. And this is both gi and no gi, but we saw it much more, the recent no gi worlds, that you know you can force a guy from top, he'll give the back, you get the back, or now you're using the leg entanglements to open that up as well, right? Yes, yeah, the leg entanglements, it's becoming, uh, it's just shifted a lot. The Danaher guys take full credit for that. They've really shown what you can do by attacking someone's legs, and uh, Gordon made an awesome transition to like use that to sweep at the last, at no gi worlds as well. Um, but even he, he, I think, will start to struggle if he were to try and continue playing guard against all these guys, uh, just because it's it's too easy to avoid the 
engage it's like easy to avoid the engagement when you're on top without getting penalized or just like attempting to you you back out from the danger and then you re-engage and before as the guy struggles to try and set something up again you can just disengage completely so you just get a, that you get a free reset every few seconds if mm-hmm. you want without it being penalized so and yuri figured that out pretty quickly right yeah so in their second match yuri did much better against the sweep attacks and wasn't really able, like gordon wasn't re- really able to mount an offense as much in the second match um and I, that has to be just from the, the learning curve that he experienced from the first match. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no – Gordon wasn't performing worse. It's just he became aware of the techniques. And so that's why I prefer the gi because I think it has more long-term uh, – the effectiveness of all positions.